Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo, and this is Three Buck Theater here with a story for you that I'm I'm actually pretty interested in. So, uh, Godzilla, right? When it came out a couple years ago, at least here in the United States, I wasn't entirely too sure what to make of it. First time I watched it, didn't really care for it. Second time and subsequent times, I very much enjoyed the movie, and I'm looking forward to its eventual, well, battle and then team up with King Kong. But on the other side of that comes more Godzilla popularity. We know that in Japan, a uh, Godzilla movie did come out with a sequel that is currently in at least pre-production or being talked about. But not only that, but Polygon Pictures has teamed up with Netflix to create and produce and release Godzilla Monster Planet, which is a feature-length animated film about Godzilla. Now, keep in mind, the only other time Godzilla has ever appeared in a cartoon was the was the little the little short film that appeared before Godzilla 1985 on VHS titled Bambi versus Godzilla or Godzilla versus Bambi or something along those lines. Um, but it's a little short where it just shows Bambi eating a, uh, some grass and then like 30 seconds later, Bigfoot steps on it. And that that's it. That's the little short film. It's hysterical. I think you can find it on YouTube. But this new movie seems pretty interesting. In fact, this is what the synopsis is. In the last summer of the 20th century, that day, the human beings learned that they are not the only ruler of the planet Earth. The appearance of giant living creatures, kaijus, and the ultimate existence that destroys all monsters, Godzilla. Through the battle against kaijus that lasted for half a century, human beings have experienced continuous defeat and finally planned to escape from the Earth. And in 2048, only those who were selected by the AI managed under the central government boarded the inter-sidereal immigrant spaceship Aratrium to head for Tau Cetus E, the planet beyond the distance of 11.9 light year. However, the environmental condition differences between that of Earth and Tau E, which finally arrived after 20 years, were far beyond the predicted numbers and was not an environment considered to be habitable by human beings. The young man on the emigrant ship Haruo, who saw his parents killed by Godzilla in front of his eyes when he was four years old, had only one thing on his mind for 20 years, to return to Earth and defeat Godzilla. Shut out from the possibility of emigration, as the living environment in the ship deteriorates, the group of Earth Returnists, led by Haruo, become the majority, and determined to head back to Earth through a dangerous long-distance hyperspace navigation. However, the Earth they have returned has already passed the time of 20,000 years and has become an unknown world with the ecosystem reigned by Godzilla. At the end, will human beings win back the Earth, and what will Haruo see beyond his fate? That's, that's the plot. I'm pretty sure it was a direct translation, like posted through Google Translate from Japanese to English. Probably why some of the aspects there didn't necessarily make a lot of sense. Or it was a first year student trying to translate it to make sense. But I think we get, get the general gist of what's going on here. So Haruo uh, is, is an Earth returnist. Okay. He doesn't like the new planet they went to. Uh, clearly, it's uh, it's not it's not what it's supposed to be. He wants to return home, kill Godzilla, and get vengeance for his parents. If this is not a man versus God themed picture, then I don't know what is. I mean, it's literally, basically, it's called Godzilla Monster Planet. So that's pretty much going to happen. Okay, so the plot of, it's kind of like Pacific Rim without the Jaegers. Right. It's 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 like Pacific Rim. If if through the breach came the Kaijus and they took over and then Earth was like, fuck this noise, we out. And then they bailed off the planet and then they came back, you know, 20,000 years later to fight Godzilla. Now, if if Haruo saw Godzilla, you know, for 20 years, he's been thinking about killing him. How, how long is Godzilla going to live? Right. Is this, is he going to be fighting Godzilla? Is it going to be son of Godzilla? Is it going to be like the great, 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 great grandson of Godzilla or granddaughter. I'm not trying to argue against gender here. I don't know what the gender of a gigantic killing lizard is going to be. Although I'm pretty sure that Ghidorah is a chick because he, and I'm just trying to say, I don't know. I don't know. 
That just makes not a lot of sense here. So, they're, I, yeah, like, I don't know. It's an anime. It's an anime Godzilla movie. It could be good. It could be crap. It could be something in between. Uh, it comes out later on this year. You know, we, uh, we, we oh, it's going to hit a November theatrical release in Japan before being available on Netflix in over 90 countries. So, you know, sure, it should come out probably right before the end of the year. Uh, we'll be able to see this movie. I, I, I don't know. I just have a feeling if I mean, if I'm making like just a standard guess here that it's going to be uh, like maybe attack on Titan, but with Godzilla, like to me, that makes more sense because if, if the, if he's leading the earth returnists and they go back, they're going to have whatever residents are left probably on the, uh, Aratium, Aratrium, right? And that's what it's called. R-A, it's R-A-A-T-R-U-M, Aratrium. Okay, that's it. And that's what I think is going to happen. I think they're going to, I think they're going to like, you know, come back and set up a colony and then, and then learn the weaknesses of, of the monsters in order to take them down, uh, kind of like old hunter gatherers. I, I have a feeling it's going to be fucking attack on Titan Godzilla style, but look, here's here, ultimately, here's the deal. This storyline, however disjointed it feels from the, from the plot synopsis, uh, it does seem interesting enough to give it a watch. And the fact that it's going to be on Netflix means I don't have to leave my house or put on pants to watch it, which not going to lie does actually seem pretty good for me. So I'm curious to give this thing a go. Uh, I, I'm a Godzilla fan. I do want to know what exactly is going to happen here. Uh, at the same time, I'm very curious to know what you guys think. Do you think that this is going to be interesting? Do you think that this is going to be shit? Do you think that uh, it's going to be somewhere in between? And and if, if anything, what are you looking forward to with it? These are things I'm curious to know. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. You've been listening to Three Buck Theater. And I, I do wonder also uh, if Netflix is going to start investing money into more of these anime type movies or these kind of animated films. Uh, that would be cool, actually. I, I would like to see that. So, uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> check back often for more movie news and commentary from me. I will talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Peace out.